Welcome back to MKE Gadgets. Before we get going today, I'd ask that you please subscribe to my channel. Help support me if you already haven't. Today's video, we're gonna make a, a bit storage rack. If you're like me and you're a cordless drill, you have a quick release and it takes various accessories. It's got a little notch in there and that locks into some balls in there and it doesn't come out. Well, over the course of many years, I've collected all these bits here. And these are like nut drivers, Allen wrench, miscellaneous, and drill bits. And I want to have one storage solution where everything is in the same place. Everything is stored the same way. It's easy, convenient. And that's what today's project is about. So I took some scrap plywood I had, and I drilled three ace holes. And... This is my English and metric nut driver set, and this works pretty good. But if you have a smaller driver, it falls through. So I measured the shank on these across the hexes, and they're about 280 thousandths. So I found a drill that's 290 thousandths to give me a little clearance. But this will still fall through that hole. So the next was to make a blind hole in these racks so they wouldn't fall all the way through. And I thought, well, that would be nice. But I really want to drill all the way through because it's just a lot easier. That way you don't have to really work hard paying attention to the depth. And I really didn't like the plywood because it's splintered and cracked. And if you get chips on here and oil, it's going to be kind of stained. And after a while, it's going to look ratty and have to be replaced. Why not make it right the first time and be done with it? So one of my favorite building materials is, is Lexon. And I took a scrap piece here and I tried different size holes. I put a counter bore in the bottom. It's 3 8 diameter, an eighth of an inch thick. The through hole is 190. So now when you put the bit in there, it stays in there and it doesn't fall out and doesn't wiggle too much. So I mocked it up on plywood. These are three ace holes all the way through and they don't stand up real good and that's when I decided to put the 290 hole in there. But you can see, you can hold them upside down. If you trip or fall, they're not going to fall out. And I really like that compared to this. You know they're going to fall out. So I went to my local plastic supplier and got this piece of Lexon. It's half inch thick. It's a little over, a little more than 11 inches wide and 30 inches long. I'll have enough to make all four of these holders out of there and a little left over for future projects. First thing we gotta do is cut this at the table saw. With the fence set at four inches, we're gonna rip this Lexon four inches wide. Just, just stay here under four inches. Let's take this over to the Bridgeport Mill. Drill and counter bore 22 holes. Like many of my projects, I make a model and then a drawing in Fusion 360. I write a program for drilling all the holes. So now we're gonna center drill and drill a hole diameter of 290 and that's a letter L drill. The end mill I'm using is three ace, four flute, high speed end mill. I go down a little more than an eighth of an inch. and counter board let's go over and install some magnets and see how this works out so here's the magnets I got I got them at the ultra mega big box store 3 8 by 1 8 
I'm using a pencil with the eraser to push them in. This is non-magnetic, so it doesn't stick. I think that's gonna work out fine. All I gotta do now is add the rest of the magnets, pull the protective sheet off, and this one will be done. So with all the magnets in there, let's pull off this protective sheet. Looks pretty nice. Let's fill it up. With the paper removed, I think that looks pretty good. So these are my metric Allen wrenches, and I put a silver stripe on there. And these are the English ones, no stripe. I did an extra roll of holes, so I got a Phillips number one and a Phillips number two. If the magnets come loose, I'll put a drop of super glue in there. But I think it looks pretty good. All I gotta do is copy and paste and make three more like this. With all four boards finished, this is where it's gonna be hanging out. Here's my screwdriver bit storage, and up here I have my charger for my cordless drill. I have drill bits, driving bits, nut driver bits, Allen wrench bits, all here on a piece of Lexon. It won't rust, oil will wipe off, chips won't stick, and better yet, it won't drop. Some of the magnets got a little loose in there. I'm going to drop a little CA glue in there later on. When I feel real ambitious, I'm going to come back and label them. I just want them to hang out here and see how I'm going to use this. Really, this is a project anybody can do. You don't need a Bridgeport mill. You can lay these out with a combination square and a piece of paper. Use a drill press or a cordless drill. But you get the same results. You just take your time for your hole spacing. This is MKE Gadgets. I hope you enjoyed today's video. This was kind of fun to make. I think it really looks nice. Please share this with your friends and please subscribe if you haven't. Thanks, we'll see you tomorrow.